Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we talk to Mr. Mordino. He actually has a first name, Louis Mordino is his name, and he's telling us that he just wants to be a businessman. That's all he ever wanted, and apparently there's a war going on that has caused... Uh, I'm not going to say what he said because he just, he was weird, uh, but it has caused problems to the city and uh, it might be the origins of why Reno has tur or turned out to be as bad as it was uh, in Fallout 2. Maybe, I don't know, it's 100 years a long time, so there's a lot of cycles there for it to go through, but yeah. Uh, so you're the owner here. Oh, he's the owner. I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Why do you have your room in the same floor as the guests? I, I, I honestly didn't know he was the owner. Nobody told me. Uh, so certainly... My character is smarter than I am. Tell, well, he has 10 intelligence, so yeah, he's definitely smarter than I am. Tell me how it all started, please. Oh, that's oh, that explains also why he's a businessman. I was not connecting all the dots, yeah. Anyway, well, he says, I got this hotel through my inheritance. Was that before the war? But for a long time, the building was empty. When New Reno became an active trade center with all the other settlements, there was an influx of caravan drivers. This created the problem of the rowdy and displaced caravan drivers with no place to spend the night. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how they the, the, the influx started if they didn't have a place to spend the night, and if that was a problem in particular. Since I like to learn more about the good people from other parts of the wasteland, I gladly opened the doors of this here hotel, and the rest is, as they say, history. Uh, well, I suppose, sure, I guess. Um, also interesting, because that probably, uh, that probably uh, justifies the name The Silver Legacy, uh, because it's an inheritance, and the word inheritance and legacy kind of uh, go hand in hand. Uh, so you've got to uh, know a lot of things about the city, right? Please tell me more about it. Well... Welcome to Reno, excuse me, New Reno, a truly breathing and bustling city. Truly breathing, it's not truly breathing, because that's not how it goes. Uh, but, sure. Uh, the Babel, the, because you would say, like, a, 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 a very breathing, you could, you could say it is in a, you could say the word breathing in regards to a city in a figurative sense, and you can always say it in a figurative sense, it's not a problem, but when you put truly, it's like literally. It stops being figurative, and it becomes literal. So anyway, the bablion of this hellscape we live in. If you if you would like to stay longer, you can have a room. Talk to the rece receptionist. He's far from talk uh, far more talkative when it comes to the city's history. Yeah, I talked to him already. Um, so yeah, do you barter? No. Some well, the guy sold me radioactive eating balls, so that was nice. Uh, but I, I stole your Nuka Cola, so that's you no. Know, don't tell anyone about that, because you probably will tell the guards instead of uh, somebody else. That doesn't matter. So don't tell anyone, just in case he, they are guards. Okay, so there's a dream come true. Says, is this guy a writer? Is he, is he writing? He's writing, isn't he? A dream. What is he talking about? If only these weren't just photos. I thought he was talking about potatoes. That's photos, not just potatoes. Oh, he's not a writer. I've got to keep these pages clean. Oh. I see. I see. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I um, talk to you while you're doing the things you're doing? No. This isn't a good time. Get out of my room. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, I thought he was like looking at um, a dream. When he said a dream come true, I thought he was talking about uh, stuff like... Uh, like... Uh, oh, this is beyond my abilities. No, it's not. It's amazing. My abilities are amazing. Fail to learn anything. I don't want to learn about this door. It has a high level of difficulty. I'll get it. Conclusion. <laughs> Colon. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I thought it was talking, looking like a, at a bunker or something. Oh, this is amazing. So many riches in there or something. But no, it's just porn. Uh, let's get this up to... Yeah, let's go with 50. Let's go with 50 here. That should be enough. Uh, I can use my hairpins as well. Uh, let's see. Number two. This is beyond your abilities, really? Okay, let's go for 60 here. Don't jam it. You couldn't unlock this lock. Okay, this is good, this is good. Let's save that. Let's get the lockpicks. It's not lockpicks, but sure. If I ever find them. See what I can do. Couldn't unlock this lock. 
I'll get it. I might need to level up my, my lockpicks a little bit more. This is tricky. I can put it like this so I can move the mouse a little bit less. Oh, we did it! We did it without breaking anything. That's surprising. Put that over there. Thank you. Okay. 75 experience for cracking a tough lock. It was cracking of a tough lock. Is there anything here? This looks like a room. Very well locked room. What do we have in here? Ooh, scout handbook, TV dinner, and a recipe for doctor's bag. I'll take all those. Can I... I don't use that. I just have it with me. And I can't use this. I'll use it later. It's all fine. Um, so, let's go over here. Have a chat with these couple of people over here. Hi. Get the fuck out, pervert. Get out before I get really pissed, he says. Okay. Okay. Hello. Look, I'm tired. Find someone else to bother, alright? Yeah, I did find someone else to bother. Nobody wants to be bothered by me. You are... It's good that you're tired, though, because you can't see me. Oh, yeah. Flask. Does it have water? Empty... Man no. It looks different, though. It looks... Didn't it look a little bit different from... What I... You know, they stack. They're the same. Yes. Looked a little bit different. I don't know. Let's go. So, we got everything that we could. That's not too bad, actually. That's... That's... It's pretty good. Oh, I thought... Is there a way... To, oh, there is an exit over here. Yeah. Makes sense that there would be. Because this is the other side of the building. And there we go. Can I go in through there? Is this an, an entrance? It is indeed. Can I talk to you guys? Caravan driver, hello. Is this table free? I'm not buying you anything if that's what you want. But I won't say no to a little chat. Okay. You're with the caravan. Yeah, with one of the guards. Uh, I'm going to the guards. You want to talk to my boss? He's in the parking lot. Look at the guy in metal armor. Yep. Tell me about the caravan business. Uh, New Reno's got a lot, uh, a dozen independent caravans, but they only work uh, the local market. Small time stuff. There's only two intercity caravans with branches in New Reno. One is based in uh, Las Vegas, and the one in the other one is in Salt Lake City. Sometimes you get a caravan from the east, but that's a rare. Uh, but that's rare. You've got. Also, the Nevada's Express, but they only move people, not goods. Oh, interesting. You, have, you mentioned caravans going east and west. What about the north and south? Oh, the north doesn't have anything more than a few small settlements. They've never got enough to make the trip worth it. And the south? Yeah, forget it. The barren desert's bad enough. But once you get past that, the land's been scorched with nuclear bombs. The further you go, the worse it gets. They say there's a, there's a city once you get far enough, but it can be worth the trouble. I've only ever heard of one caravan driver who made the trip up from there. And I've never seen him, but I've heard he's a real mess. Actually, this, what he's referring to is the place in Fallout 1. Because if... Because basically, uh, Vault City is at the north area of Fallout 2, of the map of Fallout 2, which is to the north of the map of Fallout 1. The, basically, the bottom edge of the map of Fallout 2 is the top edge of Fallout, the map of Fallout 1. I wonder how big this map is. I wonder if we uh, can go back down there to the hub, or probably not the hub, actually. Probably Junk City. Junk Town, sorry, not Junk City. Uh, why doesn't the Nevada Express transport goods? Well, they, they've actually managed to fix up some old buses from uh, before the war. Okay, that confirms it as well, that they have actual buses. Uh, they're great for moving a lot of people fast, but they're a hell of a lot less robust than our Bremen-drawn carts. And after 70 years, those highways aren't what they used to be. They can't afford to risk their machines by taking on that weight. Honestly, I would think that they would be a lot more robust than, than your Bremen-drawn carts. Especially if they don't go at 50 kilometers or 50 miles an hour through the, the streets. Or through the highways, rather. Because that probably would break everything. Um, so tell me about the local independent caravans. Well, no, not much to tell, really. They deal with farms and other people on the outskirts of the city. A few of the braver ones even deal for food with the Cayenne. Sorry, Cheyenne. But I hear they don't have much to offer recently. Uh, yeah, they, there's been some problems with the... Uh, there's some chomping plants. I killed them. It's fine. The plants are good. Uh, so why doesn't New Reno have its own intercity caravan? Well, there's way too much fighting in Reno to start a, up a new business. Anyway, it's not easy or, or cheap to go on uh, to go on such a long and dangerous journey. Vegas and Salt Lake City are a bit 
a bit better off and can afford to equip their own caravans, but Reno's in no state for something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, very informative. Do you trade? You do not. Thank you. That's kind of a surprise that he would just talk to me like that. Do you mind I'm having my breakfast? These people are having their breakfast. Oh, this is a depressive client. It's not a depressed client. It's a depressive client, which is a condition. It's not a state. <laughs> so we have already diagnosed him, as in it, even though we didn't talk to him. This ordinary looking man quietly sips from a bottle. He looks lost in mel mel melon melancholy th mel melancholic thoughts. That's, that's how that would work, I suppose. Hey, why long face? What? And the man slowly looks up. Ah, don't, don't worry. Uh, but I want to hear. No, thank you, but I'm, I'm not looking to cry on anyone's shoulders. Hey, if I wanted to he If I said I wanted to hear you out... Let's not go with that. Uh, can I be a little bit more... Let's go with this one, yeah. You know, you really need to talk it out. Helps much better than alcohol. Yeah, probably. But it's been a while since I've seen people here who I can open with. Oh, can be open with. He carefully looks you over. But, yeah, where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm from a, a small settlement up north. Oh, really? I thought there were no settlements apart from some Indians and raiders. It's nice to hear that the Wastes have some, someone with a human face, because, of course, the Indians and the raiders don't. They, they're, they're geckos and, and death claws. Uh, what's troubling you? Ah, just blowing off steam after a long day. Oh, well, I know the feeling. Having, a, having to make a choice between what and what this time... No, I think I'm asking him. Am I asking him what he's trying to make a choice between? Yes, I am. He, he says, between hunger with an honest face and selfish satiety. Satiety. I never know how to pronounce that word. I know what it is. Uh, but yeah, satiety. Uh, you see, I have a dog, but it got hard to feed her, and now she had a litter of puppies. Wife had a rent that I didn't do anything about it, and we need to feed them or our earnings aren't too good. I had to crush their heads with a, uh, a sledgehammer. My hands are still shaking at the memories. Wait a minute, why didn't you eat them? Why didn't you eat them? I know it's puppies. You ate the cats! You ate the cats! I mean, he might have not eaten the cats. Everyone has. This is... This is Dog eat dog world. And human eat dog. Why didn't you eat them? Why did you kill the? Why did you just ruin their meat? You jerk. And you made them suffer, I suppose. Because no, I suppose the sledgehammer is pretty. pretty be, it would be pretty quick. Um, but still. Uh, so this is supposed to be a story about someone who. It's not about his kid. This would be so much more effective if it was about his kid. I had to kill my kid, and it would allow me at least to, well. Anyway. Yeah, the options would be completely different than the ones that we have over here. Um, yeah, I thought Reno was full of tough people who wouldn't worry about pups. Not about that, but I'll go with that. It's not. It's more about the just eating. Where do you think people eat? They eat. Just eat. Eat things. Just eat things. Ha! Huh, wastelanders, he says. This might be a tough city, but each man has his own complicated story. If you still haven't understood that, then you will with time. Oh, no, I have understood that you guys have a lot of complicated stories. It must have been awful, I suppose. I'm sorry you had to go through it. I'm sorry you have so much food that you can spoil it. Because of the... Eat the dogs! Eat the dogs! Don't worry about it, he says. I'll get over it. And, you know, thank you for hearing me out. Hold on. Hey, barkeep, a beer for my friend. I'll pay. No. Oh, 100 experience is nice, though. Enjoy the city. No, enjoy, he says. The city needs people like you. You'll see, with time, Reno will be better thanks to people like you and me. To people who waste food. I do waste food, though. Yeah. Thank you for the beer, though. I'm not gonna drink it. Because, gross. But, yeah. It's not that I don't like f beer, but, you know, why would I do that in this game? Unless you're, uh, unless you're selling whores and booze, keep walking, he says. Who are you? Customers, obviously. Why? That is a good, a good answer. Sorry for the hiccup. That is a good answer. Can I just keep asking? I'll ask... All the questions. I'll, I'm pressing. I'm holding one. You can see the the things flickering. That's right. Uh, what are you doing here? Tuco put us on leave. He says after the last clusterfuck of a job. Says he wants us at our best or not at all. But he says we'll 
get our jobs back once our nerves settle down. Okay, maybe I do have whores and booze. What? Who's buying? You know, customers, I suppose. He doesn't say anything, though. Oh, boy. In this burn. Okay, just a jerk. Going around. Uh, yeah, he just... Was it the one... Was that the one I talked to? Yes? Well, I don't... No, it doesn't matter, because they both have the same dialogue. Can I go back there, sir? I can't... Well, I suppose maybe. Who ordered Gecko State? You don't remember... Did I not talk to you? Myers? Sorry, man. I... Can I push you a little bit? I can't. Hey. Uh, hey, you hungry? Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, the menu. Just show me. Oh, he has money. That's what I'm looking for. That's right. Okay, so I can give you all this crap. I can give you these, because they are relatively expensive. And I am... Oh. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Okay. Are those empty? They are. Are th this is the premium milk. Okay, that's not great. That is not great. I will get... Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Keep my... Keep my crap and give me your money. Thank you. That's all. Okay, now I'll try and go back here. It worked. No, no, no tabs, he says. I wasn't asking for tabs. I was asking for stealing. Did I get that? Ooh. Do I need this? I suppose I have enough inventory. There's Billy in here. I didn't see him. Why is he here? What's going on? Oh, who's he? For, for one, but... Let me apply some medic and see what that does. Doesn't do anything. He's just sleeping. Okay, Billy is sleeping back there. If I ever need, need Billy, I know where to go. Can I take that? I can. Three bucks. I'll throw away three bucks. See, these people, they're just rich. All of them. They don't eat their puppies. They just, it's, they, they, they're just rich. They're rich people. They throw away their money. Please help the homeless, he says, without actually letting me help him. That guy's still punching that thing. Okay, you, you do that. Okay, there's not, nowhere to go. Um, I did everything. Is there another... There's something this way, maybe. Those are the sinks. I don't think there's anything this way. Yeah, I can't, I can't look. Okay. Okay, we're good. Let's go this way instead. Instead of going north. Because there's a, another exit over here. I can actually look at the map. Yep, there it is. Good. Let's see where this leads to. Well, I think we know where it leads to. No. You're in Reno's business district. Here, luxury sits side by side with poverty. Where, in the previous district, uh, po poverty uh, sit side by side with poverty. Maybe. I don't know. If this is supposed to be a luxury, luxurious district. And also, why is the business district luxurious? The nightclub lights. Okay, let's go in. Nightclub. Oh! Did you see the size of this building? Good day, sir. Here to relax? The entrance fee is a hundred bucks. Uh, now I've changed my mind. I'll... This is scripted, unfortunately. I can't get in. I'll try to get in some other way. Hi. How's it going? You get hot under the collar? Or somewhere else? Aha. That's kind of funny. Hey, hello, honey. You like my girls? They like you too, for the right price. Okay. What do you have to offer? Oh, don't worry about that. For the right price? Oh, what, 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 what did I ask? Just looking around, what do you have to offer? Don't worry about that. For the right price, my girls will give you any sort of pleasure you want. Okay. Um, is it safe? Well, actually, that is a pro. That is a concern in this game because you have diseases, unlike in the first two games. Of course, honey. All my girls are clean and not like those girls down at the Cotton Club. And she shudders. What's wrong with them? Oh, honey, they don't even wash. You have to stay away from them if you don't want to get sick, but you don't have to worry about that for my girls. We're careful to always stay clean and prevent any baby troubles, she says. You understand? N I'm not sure I do, actually. What? what? Uh, do you wash the babies away? Do you get babies on your skin or what? <laughs> I don't... Just, uh... Well, um... What sorts of... Well, let's go with this one. What sorts of pleasures are they? And she looks at you quizzically. You really don't know. No, I did. You just... My God, do I need to explain your business to you, lady? Is that what it is? My girls will be happy to teach you, and don't worry about learning... Le don't worry, learning's the best part. Well, thank you. I don't need... Can you barter, though? No, I don't need anything right now. I suppose there might be a, a hidden thing, like in, in Fallout 2, but it's really hard to get the, the perks in Fallout 2 when, uh, by having a lot of intercourse. I had a lot of trouble. I did that in my Let's Play, though. 
But I had a lot of trouble doing that because it's like you need to have a specific build and you need to have a specific amount of uh, of uh, relationships. I think it needs to be with more than one person at least. And you, do we need to be married as well? I don't remember that. Oh, a client. What will it be this time? Um, it's just money. It will be money. Ooh. Steam pack. How much? How much for the steam pack? How much for the steam pack? 552. Oh, 225. Sorry. Yeah, that's good enough. But I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, I will get... Ooh, I think this is good. No, this is not good. How about this? How about this thing? Huh, ah, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, a knife and a box of noodles. It's a weird way of storing noodles. But it is. And here we have the Eldorado. Which is all one word, apparently. Even is It's not. The Eldorado is not one, all one word. Why, why would they do that? Anyway, it, it's literally El Dorado. How is it difficult to understand this? Ask the administration, he says. Yes, 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 I must. Um, oh. Also, what was that sound? Oh, the door's closed. Okay. Ring. Oh, for the fight. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There's a lot of people. Why should I fear dying? I'm already in hell, says. that. Yeah, don't... Because... The underlying assumption there is that you go to hell once you die. Yes. I suppose. Maybe. Can I can I talk to anyone around here? There's this guy. Come on, seven, he says. How about that? Waiter, another drink. There's just people. Uh, and these are, I suppose it works like the other ones. Yeah. It's the same thing. So these are all casino patrons. Welcome to the casino, honey, she says. Nope. No casino, honey, for me. Actually, she had a coma, uh, so so that that was that was proper. It wasn't casino honey. It was casino honey. And Mr. Che is over here. He's got a pool table. Let me look at your pool table, sir. Oh, look at that! You got a beer and money on the pool table. You didn't. You didn't have beer and money. I swear. You see a well-groomed, well-dressed man. His cultured dress and demeanor contrast with the scar on his neck and the ice in his eyes. So apparently. The, the ice in his eyes and the and the scar are very uncultured. They're probably like very raggedy and things. Hello there. Fancy a game of pool? I'm not looking to bet. I just want a worthy partner. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. Can I ask you some questions about the city first? I'm not in the mood to satisfy every passing onlooker's curiosity, but I do like to talk to the, to the sounds of balls colliding. Okay. So uh, can what? Can, I'll play. Where's the chalk? He sounds, uh, he, he slowly chalks his cue. Some people think conversation detracts from a good game, but I think it's a person's true nature come, a person's true nature comes out at the, at the table, whether they like it or not. Thus, one should watch themselves, even when playing for fun. Go ahead and break. You are the guest, after all. Yes, I have never, ever played pool, ever in my entire life. I didn't even know what chalking is, because we don't have pools at Vault City. Unless I have been out of Vault City, outside of Vault City, for before this game, I don't think so. I'm trying to remember the beginning of the game. One point that Fallout 2 makes, uh, and Fallout 1 does as well, but to, less, to a lesser extent, because it, it just doesn't come up that often, but Fallout 2 makes it a point to have your character have lines that reflect it, he, their, upbring, uh, their upbringing. Uh, so basically, for example, when you talk... When you talk about food with people, uh, with, uh, I don't remember her name, Mama, I think was her name, in the den, I believe. Uh, and she's like, hey, I just, I just do this and all that. And your character can say things like, back home, my mother used to uh, put butter with some rat and that'd be it, or something like that. Um, or cook the rat with, with butter or something. I, there's one specific line about that. There's a few lines that, that always remind you of your upbringing. Um, and, um, and this game just doesn't care about that. It's clear that we just completely or play a character that's just at home with civilization, which is not correct. It's just not because we came from Vault Eight, uh, and it's not the first time it happens. It, it has happened a few times already. Some of them more blatant than others, but uh, yeah, um, one should always watch themselves in the mirror. What a break, he says. Oh, I broke. Yeah, it's the thing, isn't it? Okay, I don't even know the terms. So yeah. Joe Davis himself could scarcely have done better. Perhaps the game will be more interesting than I'd expect. Yes, this Joe Davis person. I'm so I'm sure they they 
liked their cheese. I have no idea who that is. He aims at the nearest ball. Well, here we are in Reno, he says. The city, the new Reno. The city spared by Lady Luck. We've capital L and capital L. Their satisfaction for every thirst here. Have you broken the bank at any of the casinos yet? Or are you the type that refuses to risk anything on a game of chance? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything against gambling. Can I not say gambling is stupid? I, apparently I can't. But I'd rather stay out of it. Let's go with that. Uh, maybe, maybe because I, he's a gambler? I should have said gambling is stupid because he's not a gambler. We sh should have had that cue. Anyway, uh, a decent answer, he says. It's better to be overcautious than the alternative. Interesting move, by the way. You've put me in a tricky position. Perhaps a cigar while I think about my move. Huh, <laughs> right. Plain billiards, thinking about the moves and not hoping that you hit the balls that you were hoping for. Because that's m my experience with pool. It's just, I hope I hit this. And then there's a, like a... 20% chance that I actually hit what I'm trying to hit. There's no strategy. There's just lack of skill. And that's... I, and I've played for about my whole life. I prob pro probably played about 20 hours of pool. So I'm not a, a, a rookie in the sense that I'm not... A, no, I am definitely a rookie. I'm just not inexperienced. And yeah, there were... All this conversation is completely oblivious to anything. The li he lights up a cigar, looking out the window at the prostitutes outside. There they are, always on duty, he says. Well, I suppose some people are interested in that sort of game, too, he says. And there's no pleasure, Reno, one turn for profit. Um, I wouldn't touch those girls if I was wearing power armor. No, aren't those the clean ones? I thought those were the clean ones. Uh, we don't have them where I come from, but I sure we, see, that's another thing that again, completely completely uh, un uh, unconnected unconnected, is that the word? Disconnected is the word, uh, from Vault 8 no, we don't have prostitutes, we don't even know what sex is that would be an interesting line, it'd be a funny one if you wanted to mock once again the sexual education of Vault 8 as we have done already in this game uh and you do as well in Fallout 2, by the way. That's where the idea comes from, from the wall. Uh, just they basically don't have sex. Um, and yeah, so yeah. Let's go with that one, because whatever. Uh, one has to be careful with women, he says. Barker Dillinger, a lot of great... What? Who's Barker? Oh, no, that's n number of people. A lot of great men have been laid low by this sort of thing. I learned that trick shot... Oh, he shoots. I learned that trick shot from, well, it doesn't matter, just another one of the Reno's beggars now. By the way, how about a drink after the game? Though, if you'd prefer to shoot a vein, this venue doesn't cater to those tastes at the current rate. However, that, uh, however, that will change sooner or later, sooner rather than later. But, well, I don't think so, because you can't produce heroin. I don't think, there, it doesn't exist in Fall 1, so, yeah, I probably ran out of it. Um... So no 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 way to address the the obvious misogynistic l line right there. Just the drugs, sure, for her, whatever. Uh, chems can brighten up a dreary life, but it doesn't yet it doesn't get much drearier than Reno. <laughs> uh, there may be bright junkies, he says, but I haven't met one yet. You're not high now, I hope. Otherwise, I'd feel I have an unfair advantage. Oh no, we don't know the drugs in this game. You'd have a, an unfair disadvantage, because that's what drugs do. Uh, I do enjoy the sound of balls knocking together, he says. Far better than the crack of gunshots, especially if the latter are meant for you. It's a shame that in New Reno, quick hands are in higher demand than those who prefer alternative methods of solving problems. Oh, but I like the alternative methods. Can I, can I, can I get those? Um... Diplomacy is underrated. Why die for a cause when you can get someone else to die for you and be grateful to do it? He chuckles slightly. Diplomacy. I hadn't heard... Uh, I hadn't expected to hear that from you. You don't seem the type to rely on it. Excuse the hiccup. He listens carefully, moving the cue in his hand. By the way, the local gangs seem quiet today. Many of the locals think that throwing in with either of the two bosses will keep their heads above water. Well, I suppose bodies do float if you're sitting on enough of them. Do they? I'm pretty sure that's not how... That's not how... That's not how floating works. 
If if you're sitting on enough, enough, that's not how floating works. It's not about the size. It's about the density. Oh boy. Um, everyone's looking at one or the other. A third party could swoop in before anyone knew what was happening. Is this gonna? Is this guy gonna be our? Uh, way into the war? Maybe. You're awfully perceptive, he says, for one who's just arrived, aren't you? I'm not complaining, but I wonder how you did it. It looks like we're approaching the end game. Thank you for the fair game. I'm not used to it around here. In Reno, the seat and betrayal are the nature of things. Any loyalty is born of fear, and most people are waiting for their chance to flop over the, to someone stronger. And he sighs wistfully. Maybe my principles have become archaic in this modern world. I didn't notice. Well, the principles there. Seriously, his only principles were just... That, 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 he, that he... Did, what did I... Switch your, oh, the gambling thing, yeah. It's that he doesn't like gambling. Yeah, maybe that actually goes in hand in hand. Yeah, I suppose. You know, with not liking gambling and not liking betrayal and things. Although... Although he didn't seem to respond too badly when I said exactly that. Of just, you know, convincing someone to die for me and just being thankful for it as well. Well, partnerships can be more than the sum of their parts. It's easier said than done, but if the opportunity is there, why not? It's true, he says. My principles have cost me. This scar is just the most obvious evidence. But I, I forgot about the scar. But I'd rather die standing by my principles than leave, than live without them. And I gained 100 experience. Game and match, he says. I've still got it. Oh, you're still here? Thanks for the game. It was fun, but I think you've given all you have to offer. I suggest we not waste each other's time any further. Still, perhaps we'll meet again someday. People can survive you. People can surprise you. They can also survive me, but usually I don't survive if they do survive me. Um, can surprise you from time to time. Anyway, good luck. And that's that, Mr. Chase. Hmm. Quite obvious, isn't it? Then weird name, just this gentleman musing about the state of things, and just about how everyone's at each other's throats, and then he doesn't talk to me anymore. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so let's continue exploring New Reno. New Reno! Actually, let me give it a try and look and, and make sure, make sure that it is New Reno. We have... New Reno, right there. It is New Reno. Don't fool me, game. You don't fool me. But yes, this has been Fallout Nevada. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.